guys, this is Lisa Friedeborg and today I thought I'd show you a deck that arrived through the post yesterday. It's the um, Tarot of the Angels and it's a Los Garabeo deck. The artwork is by Arturo Pica and the text in the little white book is by Giordano Berti. And these are the card backs. And they're reversible completely. I thought this would be an interesting one to share because it's an angel tarot deck but it also has demons in it. And I don't know how you feel about demons and if you believe that they exist or not, but to me they're just as real as angels because I've seen them since I was a child. So, um, yeah, both sides exist. Let's put it that way. I don't put my faith in demons, but they exist. So here's the fool. And you can see him depicted as half good, half evil or neutral, I suppose. Interesting take on the fool the magician. He's got an angel hovering over him with the lemniscate over the angel rather than the magician. Uh, the high priestess veiled in this depiction with two little cherubs on either side. The empress, the word Pax written below her feet there, which is interesting if you think of the Venus connection because Venus is also known as a goddess of peace. Or she is in the the white dove rendition of uh, the goddess, uh, the Venus Columba. And you've got the emperor and the angel he has red wings and that makes me think of the ruler of Mars which rules Aries, the star sign corresponding with the emperor. Uh, it's Samael or Kamael. Okay and here we have an angel as the high priest. It's a card of duality. You can see the black and white squares here. Um, let's see what we've got here. Oh, that's not in the right order. That's the Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man. Death. Temperance. The Devil, the Tower, and the Star Card, I think that's rather lovely here. The Moon, Big Crayfish, <laughs> it's very prominent, the Crayfish there, I wonder what that will lead to in readings, that would be interesting. The Sun card, two cherubs, justice, the angel blowing her horn, and the world, ictus, which is the, the sign of the fish, which was a symbol for Christ, that's been used since the early days of the church, so very, very Christian symbol. Two of cups. Hmm. Three of Cups. Four of Cups. I'm not sure if that's a bear. I think it's a demon. It looks like a, some kind of animal. And an angel on the other side. Oh, this is interesting. So here in the Five of Cups you've got the demon pointing at the tumbled over cups and, and the other angel reminding person in the card that, look, it's not that bad, you still have two cups standing. Some kite flying going on in the Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Ooh, look at them claws there. 
that be the devil. That looks like the hands of the, the devil hands and the devil card. Eight of cups. Nine of cups. Is that two men meeting on a bridge and shaking hands? That's an interesting take on the nine of cups. Ten of cups. Oh, it's Noah's Ark. Look at that rainbow. Page or Knave of Cups. I like this Knight of Cups. That's beautiful. It's one of my favourite cards anyway in any deck. That's the Queen of Cups. The King of Cups. Gosh, what are those angels doing? They look like they're drowning. Or are they holding the throne up there? I'm not sure. I can't decide which. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. You don't really get a sense of the traditional Rider Waite Smith card meanings here, but that's fine. That's more traditional with the four. How he's seated and holding his uh, one of the coins or pentacles in front of him there. Five of pentacles or discs or coins. The six. Hmm, it's quite an obscure meaning to this. I'm sure, I'm getting that one. I think this the angel is handing him some coins there. I'm not sure. Seven. Eight. Oh, that's quite a gloomy looking nine of pentacles. You don't get the sense of like, oh, I should go shopping today in this one, do you? Ten of pentacles. Page. Knight. Queen. King. Lovely rose on the Ace of Wands there. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Four little angels on, on top of each one there. Uh, five of Wands with the angels overlooking the, the fighting boys. Well, that's odd. That looks like the Ten of Wands, but it's the Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. I think this is like the fight between good and evil. So that would be like the angels and that would be the, the fallen angels or the demons. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands for Cornucupius. That's interesting. Page of Wands, Knight, Queen, King. Oh, nice. Ace of Swords. I like this card. Two of Swords, quite traditional looking. Ouch. Three of Swords. You really sense the pain there. Interesting with the wings forming the heart. Four of Swords, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, this is interesting. So all the swords are gathered up instead of piercing someone's back. Much nicer. <laughs> Page, angry looking knight of swords. That's my birthday corche. I like that. <laughs> Queen of swords, king of swords. Ah, and here we have the cards that were missing from the beginning. The lovers with a volcano in the background. Hmm, interesting. The chariot and strength. Lovely. Right, so 
Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a, a little mini interview with this deck. Let me just shut this door. Got some action going on outside. Oh, and a cat just managed to sneak in. She's not allowed in here. <laughs> see what these cards have to say for themselves. First I'm going to pull a card on who are you to connect with the muse of the angel tarot deck here. And that one wanted to come. The Fool! How apt because this card really does contain both light and darkness and I think it gives it nice balance myself. And then we're going to ask, what is your strength? The Wheel of Fortune. That's a, a very strong card uh, to indicate strength. It's Jupiter, fortune, luck. Um, for me, I associate this card with moving or expanding in the direction of my passion and desire. So that's not a bad one to have for strength of a deck. And then we have, what is your weakness? Ace of Swords, okay. So it may not always be the most logical deck, or it might not give instantly um, logical answers, which is okay. So you might have to dig a bit deeper or ruminate, let it ruminate for a while. And what types of readings do you prefer? Ah, oh, Angel of Hope, <laughs> the star. Readings that inspire hope, because ultimately, in a battle between angels and demons, we know that the angels will win. So yes, lovely. How do you challenge me? Nine of Wands. Interesting, so this is a card for me about boundaries and learning from past mistakes and I think I will have to go away and meditate a bit more deeply on the meaning of this one. So that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed this deck review and interview and I'll talk to you soon. Ta-ra!